my name is Mira Holkkonen and I am Finnish. I currently work uh, as a researcher doing my PhD and as a leading specialist in a company that does engineering and consulting. Um, I am also writing a book and I'm a mom of a little boy, three years old. In my free time, I enjoy the nature, running, yoga and swimming, and I really, really love figure skating. My field is atmospheric science, um, renewable energy, air pollution, climate change. I have studied meteorology at the University of Helsinki, and I also did climate studies in two universities in Switzerland. Uh, and then I also have completed a second master's degree in science communication. Um, I was in primary school when I read about climate change for the first time. It was alarming and serious, but also kind of fascinating as it was so complex. And I knew that it, it would be really motivating uh, to be able to do something so meaningful as to, well, <laughs> save the world from climate change. Um, at school, I was interested in pretty much everything. Um, math, science, foreign languages, sports, um, and I also wanted to excel <laughs> in everything. It wasn't really obvious for me what to pursue after high school. Uh, but then I realized that the goal um, to understand climate change would actually allow me to study many things and really use my versatility. So um, I wanted a strong science background, background um, which is why I um, started with atmospheric science. It includes physics, math, chemistry, uh, measuring, computing and modeling. Mm. Unfortunately, um, when I was young, I didn't really have any role models that I could identify myself with. Um, so my motivation has always come from my own willingness um, to learn and also from working for something that I know is meaningful. And that is the skills that we need to combat climate change. Already as a young student, I used to work in a research group doing atmospheric science. And I love science, but after graduation, I wanted to experience the world outside of the university um, to see what companies concretely do to mitigate climate change. So for many years, I worked as a consultant and a specialist in the field of renewable energy. I was involved in designing um, wind power worth more than 1000 megawatts around the world. So I got to see concrete projects um, that help us to get rid of fossil fuels. Um, a couple of times I even stood on the top of a wind turbine at 120 meters in a wind farm that once had been just calculations on my computer. Um, at the moment, I'm back to the academic world doing my PhD, which is about ways to um, identify and decrease the human impact on the atmosphere and on the air that we breathe. Um, for that, I use um, mathematical modeling, measurement data and um, artificial intelligence methods. Mm. Doing something meaningful is super important for me. The idea that my work helps to understand and mitigate the emissions that are harmful to both the climate and human health is something that motivates me every day. Future plans. Um, for the rest of my career, I want to work for things that matter. Um, at the moment, it is climate change and will probably be for many years more. But maybe 
I will see the day when we'll have um, the climate crisis solved and I could do something else for a little while. Um, I also want to keep my work versatile and it's important to always, always, always um, want to learn new things. Technological solutions such as renewable energy or AI are crucial for combating climate change. But technology won't change the world for better unless there is a diversity of people behind it. Um, designing, engineering, applying to get out the full world-saving potential of science and technology, they need different viewpoints, different ways to think, to see and to experience the world. Um, as a young woman in this field, I feel that my part is really important for that particular reason. And that is also why I want to encourage more women to pursue STEM fields. Um, so far, I've done my career trusting in three C's. Um, which way is it? Um, the letter C. Uh, and that would also be my message to any girl out there. Mm, the first C is curiosity, which is essential for learning and simply makes everything more fun. Uh, the second C is um, creativity which is useful when you are building your career. Creative combinations of skills is something um, that can make you a really unique professional. Um, and the third C is, of course, courage. Have the courage to pursue a field that interests you. And if you are into math and science, uh, and have the courage to say yes to different challenges. STEM fields can take you to pretty great adventures. Mm, and in the process, you might just help um, to make the world a little bit better.